the spring is here, I've got new gear, and it's time to open it up. Today we'll be unboxing this. The Garmin Striker Plus 7SV GPS Fish Finder, so stay tuned. Alright, so this is the Garmin Striker Plus 7SV. Uh, it's a 7 inch screen fish finder with the GPS built in. It does use Chirp sonar technology. If you're unfamiliar with the Chirp technology, what it is is it's a wider range of frequencies and a longer pulse. So it can still, uh, it can still view very, very deep, but gives you a lot more detail than uh, traditional sonar will. It's got a nice big seven inch screen. Uh, it does have GPS enabled, however, you cannot load charts and maps on this. If you want to do that, you have to upgrade to the Echo Map series, which starts about $5.99, so it is more expensive. So unfortunately, that is a limitation to this. However, I'm going to be mostly using it on lakes and inshore, so I don't really need that technology. If you're going to be heading out into deeper water, into open water, I do recommend picking up something a little bit more that you can... Uh, load charts onto you and tell where you are. However, you can set waypoints on it, be able to get back to your put in or your launch, and you'll be able to see if you, you know, if you, if you see fish jumping, if you have luck in one spot and you want to try a different uh, part of the lake for the time being, you can go ahead and set a waypoint, be able to make it back right to where you know they're biting. So it's pretty good technology to have. Uh, I am a big fan of Garmin. I've worked for several retailers selling Garmin products. Uh, I do have the Vivo Active smartwatch, as well as the Edge 520 bike computer. So naturally when I'm looking for my very first fish finder ever, I decided to go with Garmin as well. I've always been happy with their products, so let's go ahead and open it up. So right on top when you open the box is the head unit. Pull that foam off there. You can see that nice big 7 inch screen. Um, here's all your buttons right on the side. I do not believe that it is a touch screen. So you have all of your buttons right here on the side, your controls. Um, you have your, your mounts on the side and your connections in the back for your transducer, both side view and down view and your power. Uh, also has a ground here if you need to hook that up to the ground on your boat. I will be installing this in a kayak, so I'm not going to use that. Uh, I will actually be making a video on how to mount this into the Wilderness Systems FlexPod OS, so um, stay tuned for that one. Next up in the box, we have a Garmin sticker. I always like it when companies include stickers. All right, now we have a trolling motor mount. So if you want to mount your transducer on your trolling motor, use the adapter to do it. I won't need that. You got your literature, looks like maybe a quick start guide or installation guide. Safety notices. Uh, we have the power cable with an inline fuse holder, which is great, which means it, it does carry its own fuse. You don't need to wire it into a fuse. And here we got the Y cable. I believe this splits the cable from the transducer to go into the head unit. Um, we will see when we get around to doing the installation video. Next up we have, this looks like transducer mounting hardware, transducer bracket. Uh, this I believe mounts the head unit, the screws for the head unit. And uh, looks like a collar for the power cable. And here is the mounting bracket for the head unit itself. Um, it does come with this little swivel adapter on here. So, uh, you can mount it directly to a surface, or you can use this and be able to 
rotate the head unit around so you can see from several different positions. It's a good good feature to have. I will be probably using a ram mount, so I'm I'm probably not going to use this bottom section here, but it's good that they give that to you, give you the option. All right, and this is the transducer which seems quite a bit smaller than I expected, which is good. Uh, I just does have to fit through the scupper hole in the Wilderness Systems flex pod, so. It's nice and well made. I believe it has a temperature sensor built in as well, which is great. Um, yeah, this looks like a fairly good unit. It's gonna look doesn't look like it'd be too difficult to install, especially if you're um, electrically inclined. I work in technology now, so it's something I do every day. I do have one small complaint about it, though. Um, Garmin, I know for a fact. I had the experience with my Vivo Active. Um, they do not warranty against broken screens, and however, they do not include a protective cover for the head unit. Um, I did buy it. It was an additional $30. Um, it's a nice looking cover, but all in all, it really is just a piece of plastic. I can't imagine, <clears throat> I can't imagine that they spent more than a buck or two to make this. I believe, you know, if you spend $500 on this unit, they should include this cover. Um, so that is one minor complaint that I do have. I definitely do recommend getting this, especially if you're mounting it in a kayak, um, to protect that screen, because they will not replace it. Um, on, if you keep it permanently mounted on a boat where you're not going to be banging it around and banging into things, this might not be necessary. However, it is really a good feature to have. Plus, it makes it look a lot nicer when you have it covered up. Well, here it is, and uh, I will be making the installation video probably within the coming weeks, um, working on getting my new kayak all rigged, and I really uh, hope you guys look forward to that. Hey, if you like what you just saw, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Thanks again for watching my video, and as always, protect our waterways, keep them clean.